Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to recover the edges of your RAW files in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom if you photographed on the Canon 5D Mark III and either on purpose or accidentally had the custom function switched on that will add cropping information to your images. Now let's take a quick look at what this custom function does. Well basically if I enter the submenu there we see we can set up different aspect ratios to be applied to our image. Now, we won't see much in the viewfinder when we take the image, but what happens is when we play it back, big fat new cropping marks will appear on the side, set up to the aspect ratio that we chose. Now, this is great in camera, so we can see exactly what we're going to get at a specific crop. We don't have nasty surprises with compositions afterwards. But the problem is, once these raw files gets imported into Lightroom, the cropping gets applied to the raw file and we lose the edges. But luckily there's a workaround to get them back and recover them and I'll quickly show you. So I just imported these three images into Adobe Photoshop Lightroom and they were shot on a 5D Mark III with the cropping information option switched on. So I shot an aspect ratio of 6 to 6, 5 to 6 and 3 to 4. Now it's great that the cropping gets applied by default for us in Lightroom so if we're happy with that cropping if that is what we wanted straight off the camera it's awesome we can just continue with the editing and there we go but since we shot in RAW we would now expect that we'll be able to retrieve all the pixels of the image if we wanted to change something on it um, and that we'll have a lot of ability to edit the image so let's say we wanted to change this cropping back to the default 2x3 or 3 to 2 Let's see if we can do that now. So I switch over to the develop module, go to my crop tool, and you'll see that, oh, this name said something's wrong. I can click on the reset button, nothing happens. If I try and drag my crop tool around, I can't crop outside of the square cropping anymore. And this is actually a problem in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom when we shoot with the cropping information function switched on. See what happens in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom is that the program applies the cropping information that's written in the metadata of the file straight to the image and it chops off the edge pixels and unfortunately by default there's no straightforward way to regain or reset the metadata to actually give us all the pixels back of the image. Luckily it's still there and in other programs we can actually see and access them but not in the Adobe package. So I'll show you now with a plugin in Lightroom how we can fix that, reset it and regain all the pixels in the image. Now to get the plugin that we need for Lightroom, you need to jump on the internet, use your favorite browser and just browse to the site labs.adobe.com forward slash technologies forward slash Lightroom plugins. In here you'll find a plugin called Adobe DNG Recover Edge plugin. That is the one that you need to download and install. On the site you'll find full download and installation um, instructions. So just go ahead, give it a read through, download that plugin and install it for yourself. I've already installed the plugin, so I'm going to switch over back to my library module, select all three images and go down to File, Plugin Extras and down here you'll see DNG Recover Edges Apply. Now I'm working on a PC, so on a Mac you'll find that under the Lightroom tab. So let's go ahead and click on apply. See, yes, I do want to apply to all three images. Go ahead with the confirm and we hit an error. Basically what this error tells us now is that the utility only supports DNG files and at the moment all three of them are still CR2 files straight from the camera. Great, so first we need to perform one more step before we can actually convert these images and get them ready. So let's convert all three of these images quickly to DNG files. One way of doing this is making sure everything is selected you want to convert. I'm going to right click on them, click on export, export again and up here I'm just going to choose the same folder that I'm working in at the moment so I can find them again. I'm going to put it in a subfolder called DNG and then most important under file settings you have to choose the DNG format and you can set it up as you prefer and let's click on export and sit back and wait for it to do its job. So now I've re-imported the three DNG files so we can work on them. Very important before we try and apply the plugin 
just make sure that the folder that they are in is definitely highlighted and selected in your library module. All right, so here we go. I'm going to select all three images. I'm going to click on File, Plugin Extras, and apply the Recover Edges plugin. There we go. Seems that something is happening. You can see what Lightroom is doing at the moment is creating a copy of each of the files and it's stacking it on top of the original and at first it seems that absolutely nothing has happened to the cropping it's still cropped exactly the same but I'll show you now how we can recover the edges first thing we'll notice on the new copies has been created down here we have an icon that shows it that the image has been cropped so that's already promising so let's switch over to develop module and then we'll see if we tap on these images and select a crop tool that the new copies are cropped as well but they now show the edge pixels which is great because we can recover them now simply by clicking on reset which is great and a handy feature but it will be slightly cumbersome to now go and click reset on each and every image in a whole series let's say you did a whole bracketing sequence while shooting HDR images and I'll now show you how to quickly batch reset a bunch of images firstly select all the images you want to work on or reset then go to settings make sure auto sync is enabled now just be warned that if auto sync is enabled whatever you do on one image that's selected will be applied to everything in the series that's selected as well so it can be very destructive so just watch out for this one only use it when you really have to so I'm going to switch that on for now and I'm going to make sure I'm in the crop tool and I'm going to click on reset Boom. and here we can see the first image has been reset this image has been reset as well cropping and there we go great we've regained the edge pixels of all our images and we're ready to work on them again and recrop them as necessary so this is unfortunately a little bit cumbersome a little bit of a workaround to get our edge pixels back but it is possible so i hope you guys have learned a little bit from this video and you'll be now able to successfully retrieve and recover the edge pixels from your images if you have accidentally shot on the, with the setting on to embed cropping information into your images or if you simply just want to go back and change it again.